everybody, it's Brian Rehoff here to show off a little uh, 1970 Ford Bronco that we just finished. Ford came out with the Bronco in 1965 on August 11th, and these things have really grown in popularity over the last several years, and uh, people are building them and bringing us anything from junk to nice pieces. This particular owner found this Bronco out in uh, Colorado, and it came to us, and it was really solid. It probably had one or two small rust holes in it at all and really really a nice project. If we get a car in that's how we like them. Nice and solid from somewhere dry where we don't have to put floors and rockers and stuff in it. So this truck is wearing all of its original sheet metal which is unusual to start with. We did a few things. We got rid of the side marker lights to kind of give it a more modern look so it's a little bit cleaner looking all the way around. And this customer went all the way through this thing. We have a brand new Ford 302 crate motor in here. We have a brand new transfer case. The rear ends, uh, the front and rear differentials have been completely rebuilt. They are original to the truck and the frame is original to the truck. It also was in really nice shape. Didn't have a whole lot of pitting and a lot of stuff that we had to take care of. So it was a, a nice fun build. Customer added stuff like uh, originally his had painted bumpers we went with a chrome upgrade he liked the painted grill more so we stuck with that and he put his own touches to it the color he came up with we sent him many many little plastic models until he finally signed off on a color and then uh, we just got it back from the trim shop it's already been shook down it's got a couple hundred miles on it so it is uh, ready to go so we're going to take you for a little ride and we'll talk a little bit about it and um, then you guys can see on the inside of it as well so let's go for a ride Hold on and we'll go. on the doors and the corridors and floors like a lot of people do nowadays. This gives it more of a quality feel when you close the doors um, as well as cuts down on the noise. In the end the customer ended up doing a little bit more on the interior than he originally planned and I'm glad he did because uh, really it's nice. Uh, nice plush seats, the upholstery uh, came out good. He did the door panels, he wasn't going to do that originally and decided at the end he would. Same with the rear interior trim panels on the left and right. We uh, had those finished off as well. So inside came out really well. Just got it back uh, last week and it actually got done in a timely manner so I'm happy about that. The gauge cluster on this thing was also updated. Um, original looking uh, but it was converted over to Dakota Digital Dash which is nice, everything's in that one plump cluster. It has vintage air in it and heat. He's got power windows. He still retains the original cranks, which you'll see later, but those all work off a of switch. So that's really nice, that works out well. So all the little touches that you would want, updated wiper motors and stuff like that. Um, I don't know about the sound system at the moment, because I don't know if he did that, but uh, all the neat little touches on this truck. Okay, so there you go. That's the wrap up on this really nice 71 Bronco project. It's been here a couple of years, and uh, if you like what you saw in this video and you like what you see in this truck, go look on our web page and you'll see all our range of full services from nut and bolt restorations, whether you're going to Pebble Beach or you're going around the corner to a local car show or you just want to compete in a national event. We pretty much cover it all. We'll do anything from small tune-ups to full 
disc brake conversions, engine swaps, LS swaps, all of those things. We have a full mechanical department as well as full paint and body. You can look us up online and check out our webpage at customclassics.net as well as uh, look us up and follow us on all of our social media platforms. There you go, guys. Thank you and see you soon.